Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bosch. The number of clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Bosch Clean Diesel. Good. Clean. Fun. Bridgestone. Your journey. Our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Hello and welcome to AutoLine Daily. It's June 27th, 2012. I'm Seamus McElroy filling in for John today. Let's get to the news. Good news for car buyers. Kelly Blue Book reports that consumers are paying an average of $500 less on new vehicles compared to a year ago. Japanese automakers are no longer dealing with inventory issues caused from natural disasters last year. This means supply is meeting demand and as a result transaction prices are down. On average, car prices from Japanese automakers are down $700 to $1,200 compared to the Detroit automakers which are down less than $500. This has helped Japanese automakers recover market share this year. Volvo has developed a new fuel saving system for commercial trucks called IC that harnesses a truck's kinetic energy to save on fuel. IC is linked to the transmission's tilt sensor and obtains topography information digitally, no maps are needed. As a truck approaches a hill, it accelerates and downshifts are avoided to save on fuel. On the way down, the truck drives in neutral and the engine is idled. Near the bottom, the brakes are applied to avoid speeding, and at the end of the hill, the truck is put in neutral and uses kinetic energy to build up speed. Volvo says IC can help save about 1,000 liters, or 260 gallons of fuel a year, for trucks that travel 140,000 kilometers, or about 87,000 miles annually. IC will be available next year. Yesterday, Ford hosted a massive drive event at its proving ground in Dearborn, Michigan. Hundreds of members of the media were in attendance, including, of course, Autoline Daily. A surprising amount of news came out of this little dog and pony show. Among other things, we were given an opportunity to test drive some of the company's latest products, including the 2-liter EcoBoost-powered Taurus, as well as Ford's 1-liter 3-cylinder engine. First, let's talk Taurus. We love the 2-liter turbo and other applications, and it's just as good in a full-size sedan. Output is 240 horsepower which can really move this big, heavy car. With lots of low and mid-range torque, it will even squeal the tires if you punch it from a standstill. 32 miles per gallon on the highway seals the deal and helps make the standard V6 engine obsolete. Next up, the 1-liter EcoBoost 3. This was the real wild card. Loaded with high-end features, it churns out 123 horsepower. It was matched to a 6-speed manual transmission in the Focus hatchbacks we tested it in. On the track, it was super smooth offered plenty of punch and stellar fuel economy. We can't wait for this to go on sale in North America. Coming up next, a look at John's trip to the 24 Hours of Le Mans. We'll be back right after this. Proven on the track and on roads around the world. Ford Warner turbochargers improve fuel economy and reduce emissions without sacrificing performance. Ford Warner. To get to Le Mans, you come right out of Charles de Gaulle Airport, and in the airport itself is a station for the Tren de Grande Vitesse. And I gotta say, going on the high-speed train is a very pleasant way to travel. There's all kinds of things that you can see on the French countryside. And then it's off the TGV and onto a tram that takes you out of the city of Le Mans down to the racetrack. Of course, I was a guest of Nissan and as we took the tram in, lo and behold, they had a shuttle for us right at the station and to take us to where Nissan has built a temporary structure, in this case, the Hotel Nissan, to accommodate over 170 journalists that they brought in from all around the world. And so we were given these essentially cubicles to spend the night in. And some people think that it was a little more than staying inside of prison. Ooh, here's my home, 1418. And all you get inside is a cot and not much else. However, 
Nissan also had a terrific hospitality center in a totally different temporary structure where you could go and get breakfast, lunch, and dinner just about any time that you wanted to. Then it was back on the tram to head into town because everybody comes in for the driver parade. This way, Ron. And there you got it. One of the Porsches that would later be in the race the next day. And of course, what kind of parade would not have a marching band? They all have to do it. At this part of the day, the weather was good. Later on, it started to rain, but you know, that didn't stop anyone from coming to the driver parade. And then later in the evening, the rave that Nissan sponsored right in the heart of Le Mans itself. And I gotta tell you folks, things were getting crazy. In fact, you could say that they were getting out of hand. That's the Ministry of Sound, a couple of DJs who came in from the UK to get the party going. But I went back to sleep because the very next day, it was back to the track. Here's the morning practice done in the rain. A morning press conference with the Nissan designer and drivers for the Delta Wing car. The real reason I was there and the media turned out to hear what everyone had to say in yet another temporary structure. Okay. It's getting close to the start of the race. The French Air Force does an overhead fly, and now it's the parade lap with all the cars coming out. 56 cars entered in the 2012 24 Hours of Le Mans. And here's the car that we turned out to see, the Nissan Delta Wing itself. Boy, anywhere you go inside Le Mans, the place is packed morning, night, day, it didn't matter. People everywhere. We got around at least in these little carts that Nissan provided for us. And people are shopping like crazy for all kinds of things that they can buy. There's about 250,000 people who turn out for the race, and these are really hardcore race fans. We got inside the pits too, and Here's a look of what it's like, the scene behind the action, the glamorous life of a pit crew, all wiped out, working as hard as they can. Then into the box itself where we see the nerve center, control center of what goes on in the race. Engineers monitoring every aspect of the car. They've even got an in-car video to watch the driver and just as we're there, hey, it's the Delta Wing, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Here's the view from on top of the pits, looking out over the track and the grandstands. Like I said, people everywhere, no matter where you go. Some of them drinking a little too much, but good people. This is the Dunlop Curve. One of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen in motor racing. And you know, the darker it got, the more and more people who turned out to watch what was going on. In yet another temporary structure that Nissan put up for us all to enjoy. And you think Nissan did a good job? This is the temporary media center that Audi brought just for the 24 hours. And of course every big corporate sponsor has got a sponsor helicopter rides which gives you a great view of this gigantic racetrack. Le Mans uses a combination of a permanent racetrack with public roads, where the cars can get up to speeds well over 200 miles an hour. Each lap is over eight miles long, and I gotta tell you, a helicopter view is a great way to see it, and we weren't exactly sitting still in this helicopter, and you can see how the cars pull way out in front of us. And of course, anyone going on a helicopter ride has gotta bring their iPad with them, and their camera with them, and a big smile. 
hey, there's me. That proves I was at there. Great view from the grandstands as cars continue to flash by during the 24 hours. And you gotta love the Corvette. Round is terrific, but the Audi makes no noise at all. And bang, my camera battery went, and that's the end of my trip to Le Mans. Before we go, I want to remind you that you can get AutoLine Daily emailed directly to you every day, along with reminders of our other shows. Just go to our website, autoline.tv, and scroll down the left-hand column to where it says Daily Email to sign up. And that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.